Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Retose, season 2 episode number 8. Okay, uh, the previous episode was a bit funny like uh, firstly we got to see the whole thing with um, Pixie, uh, the android and like uh, the Honoka's like feelings were kind of transmitted into uh, her and the parasite is now kind of um, like uh, what can I say like the parasite is now kind of in their sight and it is like hell-bent on like making Tatsuya like uh, to serve Tatsuya and <laughs> that was kind of funny like it blurting out all of the like Holoka's uh, hidden feelings that he was she was like hiding and um, uh, that was that and after that uh, we got into a portion where there was like Angie versus Tatsuya and Angelina underestimated Tatsuya heavily like she knew that Tatsuya was strong but she did not know that Tatsuya was like that strong and she got to know that and I'm hoping like she will like like she got the glimpse of the power that Tatsuya had that was just a glimpse of Tatsuya's powers Tatsuya even has like more tricks up his sleeve so yeah but uh, let's see what uh, like how this like uh, proceeds and also like uh, Tatsuya's uh, superior uh, not Tatsuya um and Lena superior uh, that is I think her name is Virginia or something uh, she like changed the mission uh, like uh, like their superiors kind of changed the mission mission previously then like again like they changed it like it like it got changed almost like two times so let's see uh, let's see what this episode brings and uh, like what like Angelina does after that so without further ado let's get started with episode number 8 of Mahoka Koko no Retose season 2 all right as always I'll be putting in the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started here's a countdown 3 2 1 go Okay. Awesome. Hmm, yeah, that kind of, yeah. Oh, okay. Was this already been? Oh, so this connected with that. Okay, okay. Hmm. No, oh, well, she also knows. It's decided that I can do. Okay, uh, okay, I'm getting where she's coming from. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy, okay. <laughs> All right, so like, um, yeah, that was as I said before. Like, uh, I know what this show is about. Like, and a lot of people like kind of negatively react to that. But me being a person who was like watching anime for so long, it doesn't feel anything. Like, I'm like, oh, it's like 
a, like something like that like one of those things where like a, <laughs> like you guys know what i'm talking about like like anime is something which kind of like goes into that territory a lot of like in a lot of shows so it really doesn't like phase me now Okay, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Taken. Oh. What are you doing? Okay, it kind of is Individual. Oh. Hmm. Okay. A few things were a bit difficult for me to grasp. I'll like check that after the, the like animations in the post reaction. There were a lot of information being like thrown about. Um, hello, what the hell? What are, are they like uh parasites like under the control of guessing? or not or they're Chinese necromancy Yeah, they're the parasites. Okay, well. Um, not here, please. 
Um, what's with the music? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she looks completely like Honoka. Like only their hairstyle, even their eye color is same. Symmetry. Um, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. Um, that symmetry is close. Oh yeah, they probably do. <laughs> okay. Who is this? Erika, yuck. Let's go. Wow, okay. They have like a huge army. Oh, that that lady. Oh no, oh no, we don't know this. I thought maybe uh, it was like that girl. Oh, I completely mistaken the identity. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, interpret it as you wish. <laughs> What? Oh! <laughs> yeah, they did that, okay. <laughs> what an underhanded way of like threatening people. <laughs> Alright, well. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm, okay. Okay, so they're like using um a positive way to gain their friend. All right. Hmm. 
They're constantly under surveillance. Um, Hmm, okay. Okay, he, he can sense something. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Okay, they got them. <laughs> that easily. Counterintelligence section three. That takes care of that. <laughs> yeah, I was mistaking uh, her for that lady, uh, the black haired girl. Wait a minute. He's a grandfather? Did we know that or is this something that like they're putting for the first time? I can't remember if like they mentioned that in first season. That's it. Okay. Let's go. They're here for, here for Pixie. Ah, oh boy. Parasite A, B, and C. Oh, Mr. Martin. Give us Pixie back. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, you're messing with the wrong person, dude. Oh boy. Go to hell. Well, that takes care of that. <laughs> okay, time to kick ass. Let's go. Oh yeah, it will be a problem if they like... <laughs> like, 
Dude. Oh. Wow, good ob like observation. I did not like notice that. Okay. I have to talk about something regarding this later on. You yourself are a fool. Yeah. Go back home. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. No that. Yes. <laughs> Did whipping on knives? What? Yeah. Yeah, yes, Nani indeed. Well, I hope they don't mess with them again. Yeah, but Yeah, like they can still move around inside. Most deeply connected to the rest of the brain, no heart. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I was a little concerned about her. What? Oh, that thing is like resonating. Oh, all right, because like that was given to her by Tatsuya. What the? What's happening? Oh, light magic, wasn't it? Like they were mentioning something about that.
Okay, that's the end. Yep. All right. So um, this was episode number eight of Mahoka Koko no Retose, and <clears throat> just a sec. Let me check one thing. Um, okay. Yeah, I was thinking about talking about something. I'm going to like uh talk about that in the beginning just now. Uh, that is uh like thinking about it there is like definitely um a uh, discrimination between humans and um magicians because like in the school itself there is a discrimination kind of a little discrimination by like uh, dividing them uh, between like blooms and weeds and like 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 thinking about it like th the situation should be reversed like uh, the humans uh, like there are humans and magicians and they're saying like uh, the magicians in are being like persecuted against they are being uh, uh, like um, like they are like in the bottom like uh, under the humans it, like it they are like saying stuff like that that uh, like um, like insinuates that and like as like i think like it should have been reversed like magicians should be like s the people who, who like in my thinking like magicians are definitely stronger than the humans so like human beings like differentiating between magicians and like as they're saying like using them as tools and lab rats like this should have been the reverse wouldn't it, it like so i was a bit surprised at the whole uh power balance kind of thing like like usually like in these type of situations um magicians or the people who are special somehow are like who has more powers are usually the people who boss around the other people like the normal humans like in almost like all of the animals that i've seen like uh, if there is a plot device which is like this that there's a like a differentiation between one type of people and another type of people it is usually the people who are stronger that kind of rules like bosses around the others and like discriminates between the others so i was a bit surprised at like seeing this whole situation being reversed in this anime like uh, especially like after the parasite says uh, the uh, these type of things like to humans magicians are tools and lab rats so this is a bit like um like surprising i think in my opinion because uh, thinking about it it should have been the reverse but like I don't know most probably like um the humans have uh more power over them because of i'm guessing uh weapons and stuff like um like yeah i think that is the reason like even if like the magicians have like magic in their hand and uh like the humans are most probably more uh, like has more uh are like army like uh, what can i say like firepower like um like guns and um, what else science technology and all of these things must be like uh, superior to the magicians i don't know uh, this is just something that i i like thought like uh, it should have been the reverse but uh, like i don't know like it's quite unique that uh, the humans are like uh, like bossing around the magicians yeah that is just something that i wanted to like say that uh, that is quite uh, unique and uh, different than uh, any other animals that I've seen but usually the uh, situation is reversed okay um yeah but but um wait a second but uh, they're like all of these families the 10 and the 10 families and like uh, Yotsuba, Jumonji, Saigusa families they're like the top people who are like controlling one area so yeah magicians have power so it must be something uh i'm guessing uh which is done by like 
people who are uh, i don't know like uh, like definitely the people who are like extremely strong like um the fa like main families and people who are like under the main families uh, like the humans do not um, try to what can i say um mess with them because obviously they know that uh, the magicians have like a lot more power than they can like ever wield so i'm guessing like this uh, discrimination this uh, whatever they said that this uh, differentiation is usually happening in places where people uh, like do not work. for example in schools like uh, i'm guessing like these are all my guesses uh, my guess is like uh, for example let's take a school like in a school if there are like which are uh, not differentiated into magicians or like human schools where there's like everyone is like uh, attending the same school in one such school uh, for example if there is a magician boy uh, not one or two or three magician boys in a class full of humans they, uh, like the people who are normal there is the humans they most probably bully them i'm guessing uh, discrimination in this type of ways or for example as they said like uh, discriminating between magicians by like using them as lab rats like uh, stuff like those i'm guessing so um yeah i was uh, really surprised at the whole thing that humans are like uh mm, like bossing around magicians that is not something that i really expected because yeah like usually the reverse happens anyways um that is one thing okay so uh this episode was um the uh, parasites coming and trying to um, teach Tatsu a lesson, which like, which obviously backfires. And uh, also, we get to see uh, one of the family uh, people from the Yosuba family. What was the name? Um, just a sec. Let me. Uh, uh, Ayako Kuraba. What? Kuraba. Wait a minute oh uh okay uh, i'm guessing like uh, all right just a sec let me check it ayako Kura kuroba okay so i'm guessing like um uh, he's from the yasuo family obviously but just like uh mia uh, like uh, shiba tatsuya and uh, like uh this uh, like our names are different the titles yeah okay um all right one thing like when they said like, ayako kuraba i th i thought like i made a mistake i thought that uh, the lady we saw later on uh, like who was uh, i don't know her like name what her name is i forgot i thought it was they were like uh, ma like uh, talking about her so i kind of made a mistake and said that oh it's that girl isn't it but no turns out uh, that was not the case this is a completely new character which we have seen uh, a lot of times in the openings and in the openings there were i think uh, two more new characters who we are probably going to meet later on i think one of them was a guy and another one was a girl i can't remember anyways um all right so yeah the way she negotiated was <laughs> well uh what can i say quite crafty and quite mm, yeah crafty and uh, obviously like uh, these guys are in their like place like uh, the un uh, the stars they are like uh, in their place so obviously they have to like they are under a kind of a pressure and they have to like um, obey the people who are like the actual uh, masters of the land so they like they can't do much like many things so obviously they were a bit forced to go along with her and also like uh the girl like uh uh the kuroba girl she um i thought maybe she was going to threaten them kind of threaten them like firstly but then she like uh, reversed the whole thing and uh i'm guessing she did that because obviously this uh virginia lady uh, she was obviously a, like a, definitely she's prideful because she is like one of the superiors so if suddenly someone comes and like talks with her in like such a condescending tone obviously her pride is going to be hurt and uh, a lot of times people kind of made make a lot of mistake and like bring in unnecessary trouble because of their pride so i'm guessing she kind of like uh, like reduced the like reversed the whole thing like she was like at the beginning she was kind of like talking to her 
<laughs> and threatening her like loki threatening her and so later on i think she changed her whole tune and said that you will like uh, like we will you will you guys will have uh like uh, a favor from us like we will help you at a later date so i think that kind of like smoothened the whole thing and uh, uh, virginia kind of uh, like agreed to it otherwise she i doubt she would have agreed to it and kind of i thought uh, like maybe she like would start some kind of trouble and like the whole thing would like start in a, like fighting like in fighting between uh, like a fighting between them and like war and stuff so all of those problems they kind of handle it quite well by making them like making that statement that you like we will help you at a later date so please um respectfully uh like like go back like don't interfere yeah and uh okay and yeah that was the whole episode there was nothing much here uh and then later on like that's where and uh all of them like goes out and uh the parasites come in they try to mess with them but obviously they don't know who they're messing with so <laughs> they make a huge mistake and they try to like uh hurt them but obviously that's where he starts here so you can't do anything to him and uh, another thing we got to see here is like that um, th those ornaments that Tatsuya gave to Onoka and I'm not sure like what actually happened there most probably uh, was that some kind of I don't know like it kind of like started glowing and then that kind of resonated with the pix like with Pixie and Pixie like also started glowing uh I don't know what actually happened most probably something like related to the whole uh, feelings kind of thing like the things that Tatsuya said and like Honoka's own feelings uh, is like related like interconnected with that hair ornaments which was a gift uh, from Tatsuya so I'm guessing it kind of like acted as some kind of activation thing not sure and uh, that kind of also affected uh, Pixie and she uh, tried to defend Honoka and uh, like Honoka's uh, element being light element as they said uh, it was like there was like a huge blinding flash I'm not sure what the actual nature of that uh, thing was like what it was actually doing it was it kind of like acted as a flashbang I'm guessing uh, like that is not its only function most probably we'll get to see uh, like uh, I don't know like uh, Pixie probably will like join in on their fighting as well like we did not see Pixie doing anything in this episode, so I'm guessing it is going to somehow connected with that horn hair ornament or something, and there will be some kind of uh, uh like inter uh, like connection between Honoka and Pixie, and they are most probably going to fight together, most probably. Uh, I'm guessing. And uh, <clears throat> yeah. Um. Oh, also another thing like these parasites uh, are like sympathetic towards the magicians I'm guessing because they uh, took over a magician like I'm thinking because like thinking about it like there are no people who are without any uh, like uh, regrets or without uh, like there is no people who don't blame others like uh, for example like I'm sure like just like the magicians uh, like the magician whose body he took over like um the parasite like just like how he blamed the humans i'm guessing like similarly like humans also blame the magicians for something like there is like always this thing like people never tr like try to uh, look into their own faults they always like try to blame another and if there's like a convenient target in front of you they'll definitely try to blame that this like that being here uh, in this case there are like two different targets like the humans were going to say like no the, everything's the magician's fault the magicians are going to say like no everything's a human's fault like a convenient target to like put all of the uh, blame upon so uh, yeah as i was saying so i'm guessing the parasites because they took over the magicians and the um, inner uh, what can i say uh, like um the, like the inner feelings of the uh, magicians that yeah we are uh, being uh, abused these kind of uh, like feelings these feelings resonated with the uh, parasites and their sympath uh, 
sympathizing with um, the magicians. Now, here's the thing. I think like if somehow like the parasites did not uh, uh, like uh, get inside a magician but took control of a human, I think most probably they would have like started sympathizing with the um, humans and like uh, start to say like no magicians are bad and go against the magicians this is just uh, like my thought because obviously they said one thing that we are kind of like a different people but at the same time we are like one thing so like all of these parasites like this and like these different type of parasites were like uh, each and everyone like they're holding uh, a certain host like they're uh, possessing a certain host they are different but at the same time they are like one thing they are like one single entity so like uh, because of that like because of like that one parasite who uh, took a magician as a host that thing kind of circulated uh, amongst all of those those parasites so now they are thinking like yeah humans are bad and we sympathize with uh, magicians and that is also the reason why he said uh, like a thing like that that uh, if you uh, like leave uh, like a pixie with us then we will not uh, harm any magicians and did not mention anything about the humans which Tatsuya caught in and that was really like good observation power uh, not observation but good hearing and uh, like observing the thing as like the parasite said that you're pretty smart and uh, yeah so I'm guessing it is something like that I'm not sure but I think that like the like because the parasites uh, took a host uh, took a magician as a host they're sympathizing with them if by some uh, like uh, what can I say like if by some means they took a, a, a human as a host uh, who like the human must be someone who has uh, like who has this kind of like discrimination against magicians so I'm guessing like if they took human as a host then they will have like started sympathizing with the humans and said that no magicians are bad this is just something I'm like something that I thought so yeah like it like so it the whole thing like depended on the the person they took as a host like if that guy was someone who was extremely like uh, kind and well like good person who did not like uh, hold any type of grudges and all uh, I don't think like uh, it would have affected the parasites like this I'm not sure anyways because obviously the parasites are like taking in the feelings of the humans just like a uh, pixie like we saw the parasite uh, getting inside pixie and uh, like that resonating with the feelings of monoka and she now like uh, like her individual uh, self is now has this kind of like affection towards Tatsuya. that's the reason and another thing they said like which uh, we saw like uh, pixie said that even if like these feelings are f like from Hon like our honoka's feelings they are like now mine like now i am like an individual uh, being so like I don't want to go with them like even if the start was something that I borrowed from someone it is now like uh, constituting my whole being so this is like a new me this is not something that I'm borrowing from someone so like yeah that was something like really uh, what can I say uh, explain the whole situation that even if it started from um, like someone else after it like uh, after uh, the parasite uh, uh, possessed pixie and became a like full-fledged uh, being autonomous being that feelings now belongs to her so now that is not something that the, she has borrowed from honoka that is something that she has herself that is her feelings so yeah it is something along those lines so yeah that's uh, yeah that's just it so yeah guys um this was episode number eight so this is episode number eight of mauka koko noreto say season two so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed be sure to do so comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about this episode anything in general i'll be sure to check them out and so yeah i'll be back with a new mauka koko noreto say uh, episode next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day